Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Ali Raza and today I'm going to demonstrate you a very important problem that a lot of people who are following me on YouTube are asking me. That is uh, this problem and a lot of people are writing me that role drop down is not showing roles uh, inside the lecture 6 of school management system. So uh, I've decided to create uh, a separate video for this so that uh, all the people who are stuck in this problem and you are who are unaware how to resolve this, it's very simple. Uh, just go to your SQL server and write this query select from roles table okay whatever you have given the name the alias is role and then r dot id as id or role id that's the heading and then r dot r underscore name as role that's it so this is the thing that you have to do inside your SQL and make it a procedure create procedure st underscore get roles let's say and I'm wondering that why people are not getting this point uh, but uh, that's why I have decided to create this in front of you so simply create a procedure like this and then execute this procedure and then go to the C sharp and I might I definitely have demonstrated uh, that how to call this stored procedure but uh, if somebody is still not getting this point so I am writing the C sharp code as well at this particular point so let us go on the new line here I am going to specify the C sharp code so SQL command CMD equals to new SQL command reason I am writing here is to let you understand coding is not about to is not a thing that you can learn and then you might have seen the main class dot connection dot dot con I hope you are getting what I am writing and then you can decrease the font size let me decrease the font size so that everything come in a single line now you can specify st underscore get roles in C sharp on page load simple and then cmd dot command type equals to command type dot stored procedure that's it and then you have to specify cmd no no cmd sql you want it to load all the records okay so you can call sql data adopter the object of this class and then new sql data adopter and then close these brackets and open this and close this and then give your command here cmd then data table let me write the correct casing of as well so data table dt is the object name equals to new data table and then close it and then fill your da sorry data table from da so da dot fill and fill your data table and then what you can do you can specify the combo box let's say roles drop down dot data source so data and source equals to dt and then specify roles drop down dot display member okay because that the role names that you wanted to display here you can specify the column name that you have specified here so this is role so here you can specify a role and then semicolon and copy it and paste it below and here the value member should be ID as you have specified the ID at the back end so this should be value member I hope it is clear to everyone so when you call this or when you wanted to select the ID you will write roles drop down dot selected value you will get the ID and when you wanted to get the name of this role so you can specify roles drop down dot text simple so I hope it is clear to everyone I have specified the database code as well and I have specified the C sharp code as well inside this particular demo or the lecture or the you can say the patch uh, that that is missing inside the lectures that you are following on okay so I hope it is clear to everyone now what you have to do you have to put this code inside a function let's say private or public void load roles and then you can put it inside this function and close the curly bracket and now if you wish to pass the parameters you can pass the parameters as well like 
uh, combo box CB, then string display member and string value member. I hope it is clear to everyone. VM. Okay. And if you wish to make it more dynamic, you can make this as a property as well. Let's say string procedure, then combo box. So instead of this procedure, you are writing your proc, and then uh, inside instead of this display member, you can write DM display member, and when you write here VM, that is value member. That's it. And here you can specify instead of roles drop down, you can specify here combo box CB. Here also CB. So this becomes a dynamic function. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, when you call this function, and you can make it load list, let's say. So I have demonstrated this in the lectures also. Make it public. Make it make it stat static, so that you need you don't need to require an object reference. And when you call this now, and when you pass your procedure, your combo box name, the display member and value member. So every type of list for every table you can be able to call with the help of this single code. So I hope you have understood this, guys. Uh, if you still don't do not understand anything, please do write me. Thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.